news coming out of Philly that Aaron Nola, uh, Alan Nola, has signed a seven-year, $172 million deal. And, you know, some of those negotiations are coming out. Um, apparently, the Braves came in at a, uh, a clip of six-year, 162 and we're negotiating up from there. The Braves at six million one sixty-five, and not uh, and not done. Another team offered more than the Phillies offer, and others were in the mix. Nola was willing to take one hundred seventy-two million dollars from the Phils to sign, and they uh, and the Phils requested to make it a seven-year deal. For luxury tax purposes, and there you go. All that this shows is that a few of the best organizations in the game were willing to pay for what uh, were willing to pay what the Phils paid. Everyone can argue whether it's a, a same contract or not, and how you know uh, one values Nola moving forward. No big free agent contract will seem cheap. It's simply the way the system is set up. Good teams value good pitching, and Nola is valued as a top pitcher. Not an elite ace by any stretch, but also certainly not what some of the, uh, you know, uh, Facebook messages on various baseball sites post either. Um, the reality is that Nola, I think, was paid market value by the Phils. Now, we could argue fair as part of the market value another day, you know, because some people say, you know, you don't give $172 million to, an, uh, to one all-star game, never won a Cy Young, and only pitched three 200-inning pitch seasons in seven years. You know, but that that's all on record. All on record. But that's not the way right now that the baseball cookie crumbles. So I hope all is well.